hey, one of the questions that I got today was, how do you transition when you're using WooCommerce from the notion of a shopping cart, uh, a, a whole set of products that you could sell to a funnel-driven approach? And I want to show you how you can live in both worlds. Now, if you were playing in the funnel game, you likely wouldn't show all of these products all at once. So this is a sample. It's totally fictitious. Um, you normally would have other kinds of products. These are all the products that are tied to the funnel, right? So if people buy a course, and then you might do an order bump with an ebook guide, and then you do an upsell to a mastermind and a downsell to a consultation. And you can see the pricing, right? $4.99, down to $99 up to 299 down to 99 again, right? So you can imagine the funnel, right? But what happens if you want to get them to that funnel page when you're also using WooCommerce for other checkouts, right? So you go, how do I live in this world with both of them? And I want to show you a quick and easy way to do it with another product, right? So I'm going to show you two different products that are at play here, actually three at play. It's the combination of cart flows and the combination of Ahoy for this messaging and uh, discount rules, right? So if you go back in here, if I take you uh, into the admin, right, you're gonna see those particular pieces in here when I come to my plugins, right? You're gonna see in the plugin list, you're gonna see Ahoy and the extension for WooCommerce, right? That's gonna help us. You're also gonna see Cartflows and Cartflows Pro, so those will all be there. And then you're gonna see Woo discount rules. Now you don't have to worry about checkout field editor, Though that is helpful, um, cart flows in their in their edition has the ability to manipulate that, right? And if I come up to cart flows, you'll see the flow, right? And the flow is what we were talking about. There's a landing page. Uh, that landing page is where if I was sending paid traffic in, I'd get to that landing page. That would take you to the um, checkout. From checkout, I would do an upsell for a product, a downsell, and end you at the thank you page, right? So that's that's normal if you're bringing people through that process. But what happens if you're bringing them through WooCommerce in the shop, right? And it's hard to live in the, that world of both because either people play with just funnels or they play with just um, WooCommerce and checkout, right? So here we're going to play with both. And the way we do that is with Ahoy. This is my redirect to the funnels page, right? And what you'll see is, hey, thanks for putting something in your cart. How do you like to get 20% off without having to get, I should put off, without having to do anything, right? And what's happening here below is, there's a call to action. And the call to action, that's the trick, right? Click here to apply the 20% discount. And now you'll see this is my checkout page, which is specific to that flow, right? So even though I created it in cart flows, I'm going to use Ahoy to direct me over. And then you're going, wait, but what about that whole 20% discount? Well, that's the discount rules, right? So I come in here, I go into a cart discount rule, and I say, hey, for this, in this case, right, discount everything. Um, and you can come in here and see what I'm looking at is discount everything 20%, right? So the subtotal has to be at least, so I want to I wanna make sure that it applies in the right place. I come over here, percentage discount, 20%, that's it. So that's how this all works. Let's take a look at how it plays out together, right? So I'm in the store. I go to add the cart, my course. And what happens? Hey, I get something that triggers visually and it says, you ready for a discount, right? Now, how do you like to get 20% off without doing anything? I click on the apply the discount and I'm at my checkout, right? Here it is. Uh, I've been playing with modifying certain fields, right? To get it down to the essentials. Uh, you'll notice the discount is applied right here. And then guess what? I still got my flow, right? This is actually from cart flows. I still get my one-time offer if I want to do an order bump, right? Now, why is that so important? Because it means that you could do this kind of thing with all the advanced rules that Ahoy has, right? Only do it, only pop it up and, and route them to different uh, funnel pages, right? Route them differently based on conditions. And those conditions, even though Cartflows doesn't have the rule engine yet, Ahoy does, right? So you can go into Ahoy and say, hey, pop this up when your products do, you know, you have this quantity of products or this kind of products or anything else, right? If you come into Ahoy and you take a look, right? I just wanna, I wanna end by showing you right? All the possibilities when we come into conditions, right? And I'm going to scroll all the way down to a products, right? If it's on a product page. Um, but also let's get down to the carts, right? And which products are in cart? How many cart items are in, in, you know, in the cart, right? What's the total, right? Hey, 
Um, have they bought before, right? You can get you can get all sorts of stuff here when we talk about rule engines. Ahoy has it so that you could use their messaging to and that call to action button with the link to route people to the different cart flow funnel pages that you want. Thanks.